welcome back to my channel everyone so i'm doing my nails in this video i'm showing you from beginning to end and this is the set i'll be showing you i love how they turned out i'm going to be using the polish from the academy collection that madame glam just released and some of their other polishes so to begin with i'm doing the pre dupe technique and i'm using all madame glam products besides the full tips and these are the mccart tips that are short coffin so i'll put that link in the description where you can get these from and now i'm taking a fine carbide bit and i'm just removing the shine off them so they adhere well with the gel polishes that i'll be using from madame glam and the builder gel too so i'll just finish filing them all and then i will be applying product to my nails and i don't show you but i do prep my nails first i remove the shine and buff them because i did have the press on nails before and so i had to remove all the glue and everything off them before i could move on to applying these So now that I've removed the shine off all of the inside of the tips, I'm spraying with my nail prep because like I just said a few minutes ago, I did prep my nails first. So this is part of the prep work though. I'm just removing the dust and the oils off of my nails. And then I'm gonna grab my Young Nails Protein Bond and apply that to the full nail. So the first Madame Glam product I'm using is their Silk Off Base Gel. So I'm going to apply a thin layer to all of the nails, staying away from the cuticles. And then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. So the next product I'm using is a Soak Off Builder Gel in Builder Light Pink from Madame Glam. This will just give a little bit more strength to these nails and then it gives a nice coverage over the natural nail. It's just a really soft, pretty, uh, transparent type builder and I think it'll be great for these. So of course I put it down from the cuticle and press downwards and I want to make sure I remove any bubbles. And then I'm going to grab that little clip that's going to help me hold it down in the light so the nail does not come up in any way and cause air bubbles. And I'll put the link down in the description for the clip as well. So I'll just let you watch me do, I think I do one or two more and put the clip on. And I'm not showing you putting it in the light, but because the clip is on, it definitely is easier to stick it in the light when I'm doing it on myself. So if you do see a little of that builder seeping out, you just grab a brush. You want to make sure and remove that because you don't want it seeping and getting on the cuticles. So once all the nails were applied and cured, I'm just taking some isopropyl alcohol and just cleaning the dust off the nails. I am going to be doing a little bit of filing now. Now the pinkies are always longer than the rest, so I want to shorten that and shape it. So I'll use my medium carbide bit to shorten it and then I'll be taking my file and just filing it to the same shape as the rest of them and i may even go over the other ones just to make sure that the edges are nice and clean and even
So once I had the filing done, I take a buffing block and go over every nail. You want to do that because you want a good bond with the gel polishes that I'm going to be applying. So I'll go over them and then I'll be wiping them with some isopropyl alcohol when I'm done. So the first product I'm using on them is the Soak Off Builder in the Builder Light Pink again. I love this one so much. So I'm doing one of the nails in this. Actually, I think I end up doing two of the nails with this. But to begin with, I'm doing the nail that I'm going to be applying the dried flower gel. So I just want to have a base, a really soft pink base to it. So I'm going to apply that and then it'll cure for 60 seconds. And you'll see in a minute, I do think I take another Madame Glam gel polish to just add a little bit more color to this nail to give it a brighter base. So the gel polish I chose was from the Say Yes to the Nude collection. You can see the whole collection in the top right hand corner of the video I did on this. It's just a beautiful pink. So it's going to give, like I said, just a little bit more color that I wanted on this nail. So I'll just do the one coat and then I'll start applying the dried flower gel that you saw in my previous video. And you can see that card also in the top right hand corner of the AliExpress haul where I showed you all of the beautiful dried flower gels that I received. So I'm going to take that gel and just do a thin layer of it and move the dried flowers around so they're covering the nail to where I'm happy with them. And then it'll cure for 60 seconds once I get that done. So I really wanted to use one of the gel polishes from the Academy collection that I just did the review and video on and this one is called Daydream. It's a beautiful pink with a gold shimmery glitter in it. It's just gorgeous and I'm going to do two coats on I think three of the nails and you can see that video in the top right hand corner of all of the collection. It is beautiful. It's so worth checking out. So once again, I'm going to use the Builder Light Pink. The middle finger, I decided I wanted to look more natural. And I'm going to be doing some Swarovski crystals on this at the end. So I'm just going to go over this nail to just give it that really soft, transparent pink color. So pretty. And it'll cure for 60 seconds once I get it done. So I'm just going to finish the thumb by using Daydream again and doing two coats on that.
I need to encapsulate the dried flowers. So I'm using the Builder Gel Pure Serenity from Madame Glam and it's a clear builder. So it's gonna cover that up perfectly. And then after you'll see me filing it once it's cured, just to give the nice shape to the nail. So before I file the dried flower nail, I decided to cover up the other nails with the No Wipe Top Coat from Madame Glam. It's one of my favorite top coats and it'll cure for 60 seconds once I get those covered up. So once I'm done filing and buffing this nail, I wipe it with some isopropyl alcohol and I'm using the Madame Glam No White Top Coat again and I'll cover it up and it'll cure for 60 seconds. And then I'll be doing some Swarovski crystals on that middle finger, some peach ones and some pink ones and it'll just complement those nails nicely. So uh, first I of course I wipe the nail before applying the glue and I'm using my McCart glue. I can put that link down in the description where I got that from but I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to start applying the crystal so I'll just let you guys watch me do that. So now I'm happy with the placement of the crystals. I'm going to take my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat and I'm going to go around the crystals and up flush to them. But of course, I don't want to get that gel on them or it will be dull when they're cured. So I'll finish doing that and it'll cure for, like I said, for 60 seconds. And I do have the 30% off code for Madame Glam. So if you want to buy any of these products, make sure you click the link below with the code in order to use it. So I'm absolutely loving the way my nails turned out. I love the Academy collection. Make sure you check out that video. I'll have the link actually in the description as well so you can check it out. 
They are such beautiful glitter gel polishes for fall and back to school. So thanks everybody for watching. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. So we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.